that was Watercolor Eyes um, from Euphoria by Lana Del Rey. Uh, Lana Del Rey, she's one of those artists that I kind of only listen to when a song gets popular. Like, video games, when it's a good song, but I know that her music is supposed to be sad and mellow, but there's a cover, um, and I think it's so good. I forgot who who did the cover, but it's a really good cover. It, it, it blew up on TikTok a few years ago, the cover version. Um, I recommend it. It's the sa- exact same song. They didn't even change any of the the lyrics or anything. It is a male duo, so it's it's a pretty good song. Um, and Euphoria, that's one of those shows that I c- I keep up with, but not on my own bias. I usually keep up with it via TikTok. So when it was coming out on Sundays. Uh, I remember I was like up to date with it, but I never actually seen an episode. I think I only watched the first episode of the first season. It's it's a pretty good show, but it's on the list that I have where it's like shows that I won't watch because I know they're going to be emotionally draining, like Shameless. Shameless is a show that's pretty popular too, and it, it's not the same as Euphoria, but it's it's very sad because it's like dealing with drug addict uh, addiction and it deals with like how an, a sister had to take care of all her her siblings and she never had a break, which is, it happens a lot more than I think. Um, another show that I think is also on like a not watch list is... Skins. Skins was like a, it's like a mixture of both shows, but more graphic because it it does take place in the UK. So the UK is more lenient with the violence, like it's not as censored as it is here in in the US. Speaking about the US, um, I believe it was on Twitter, I saw something that said that when the strike lifts, like when the strike stops, that there's gonna be a reboot for The Office. I personally never watched The Office other than a few episodes, but I I, I have to ask my aunt what she thinks. She was a fanatic of for The Office. She loves The Office. And I remember that she had requested the Lego set that they, have I, I don't know if it's the the one she has but I did she also loves friends and I remember buying her one a lego set the the one where the, they're at the coffee shop I don't know how long it took her to build but she really did love it and speaking of legos I there's also a Seinfeld one I don't know if that many people have watched Seinfeld I didn't watch Seinfeld. Every time it would come on the TV, I would change the channel. I sh- it was just a show that I couldn't watch. And now that I think about it, it's because I was too young, and I was like, I don't get these jokes. I'm just going to change the channel. Uh, and then, same with Seinfeld. I guess now that I'm, I'm older, I can understand most of the jokes now. But it's also kind of, you can tell it's designed for older people if a comedy that like is geared towards younger audiences i think i would say brooklyn 99 or new girl new girl is one of those shows that you can rewatch you can constantly rewatch it and still find it funny that's just in my opinion um I feel like I'm talking just too much uh, too much about shows, but that's mainly what I cons- consume. Other than like, I barely watch movies too. I don't really like watching movies as much because I feel like my attention is taken away too quickly by something else. Um, I'm s- my eyes are hurting <laughs> from 
smiling too much. Uh, um, Maroon 5, I feel like, is one of those uh, groups that was very popular in the 2000s, and now they're not so popular. At least I haven't heard anything new from them. Um, so, just because I missed them, and we happen to have a song, I will go ahead and play the song. Hello. <laughs> um, so, this next topic that I'm going to talk about, for I'm just going to say some news. It's very brief, but it does include animals, so I apologize if this makes you feel squeamish, but I saw this morning uh, an article that said, the headline just said, McAllen woman accused of killing 33 dogs. She's currently going to be, the trial's going to start soon, and it's kind of hard to say, like, what the outcome's going to be, because it's, okay, yes, it's a very gruesome thing that happened, but she was just accused. I haven't read into any of the details. I will do that after this. Uh, but to hear that coming from a Kalin, it's kind of surreal. You don't really hear that much big crime happening here, which is a good thing, which I feel like also contributes to a lot of people's wanting to stay here. Like, I had a friend who said that they didn't want to move out of the valley because it was a safe spot, and I totally agree. Like, there are crimes, but it's not as bad as in Houston or Dallas or Austin, which is very good. Like, for a community that's, like, about a million, like, in all the valley, it's a pretty good number of crime rates. Sounds kind of weird. It sounds kind of weird praising low crime, like that there's not much crime. Uh, it's not something that I feel like a lot of us think about on the daily. You know, like no one really worries about um, getting hurt in a crime. It, last night I was hanging out with some friends outside and in the area that I live in, sometimes we hear gunshots, which is very dangerous if they if someone has a gun and they're just shooting it for for f entertainment just to like show it off like what kind of control are you having uh okay, that's enough <laughs> of uh, what i would say is a controversial topic um i did want to talk about another thing that I think it's coming out this October, or it might be out already. I'm not sure when the release date is, but the new Hunger Games movie is going to come out. And I'm pretty excited to see, if you don't know, it's about, it's the backstory of Captain, not Captain, President, President Snow, and why he had such anger towards Katniss. And it's because the girl that he had fallen in love with reminded, like, was exactly like Katniss. She had started revolutions. She wanted to change the way the system was, which I really do enjoy those kind of dystopian movies, which is weird that I don't see it that much anymore like I feel like a lot of movies are just sequels now which sometimes it's a hit and it's hit or miss like it it's either good or it could have been better I'm I'm not saying <laughs> movies are bad just sometimes they could be way better uh I think I think we should do more filmings of shows, like like musicals, like musical productions that are filmed the way that that Hamilton was. 
I know that the color purple is going to become a film. And I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't really, I've only heard one song. So I'm not sure how good it's going to be because I'm not in knowledge, I'm not knowledgeable enough in that movie or in that production, I mean. But also going back to the topic of like remaking stuff or sequels, I don't understand why Disney still makes remakes or not remakes but they like make movies into life uh, action i haven't seen the 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 little mermaid yet but i've heard pretty good things about it and other not so good things so i'm hoping it's a good oh i'm gonna watch that this weekend um i i also this I know the Lion King the the live action one came out a while back, but I it it was not that good. Same same with Beauty and the Beast. I don't really like the Beauty and the Beast movie. The live action one, <laughs> the cartoon, the animated one is still really good. Uh. Also maybe. If this weekend you don't have plans, I would recommend um, watching that new, I don't know, I don't remember what it's called. My mom told me A Million Miles. I think that's what it's called. But my mom said that the movie was really good. And I kind of trust her judgment because she does watch a lot of movies. <laughs> she She's also very much into the binge watching culture as much she doesn't want to admit it um i f i also feel like people say binge watching is really unhealthy it it is but it's also like it's i feel like most people do it on a downtime like during the summer for example uh like a student watching a show i don't think i don't think it's the worst thing but if you have other priorities, make sure you do them first before you do any binging. Natalia Laforcade, I'm hoping I pronounced her last name right. Um, she She's one of my favorite artists. She created a whole album where she did covers of classical Mexican songs. Uh, she also has the song Hasta la Raiz, which is a song commemorating her, her Mexican roots, which is a really beautiful song. I don't know if, because it did get popular on TikTok, so if you have TikTok, you might have heard it, but if you haven't, I highly recommend it. Uh, she is also an artist that I like because she speaks about like politics once in a while. Same with Mola Ferte. She's really good too. She also does a few political stances. Uh, she came recently, Mola Ferte, I think last year, to the McAllen Performing Arts Center. I wish I could have gone, but I didn't know that she was having a concert but my my aunt said that it was like a short thing like she just sang sang like song after song after song so and then the most popular one um tu falta de querer also a really good song if if you're an emotional person probably don't listen to it it's it does get pretty sad um the next song is by Charles Camino, which is one of my favorite artists, like all time. I've heard all of his music, and I'm really sad because he hasn't. I don't think he's gonna go on tour for a while. He also hasn't released any new music. The last time he went on tour was in 2019 before the pandemic. So I don't think he's gonna have it. Uh, 
a tour anytime soon. Uh, speaking of tours, I know I know Suicide Boys is going on tours. Uh, they're going to be in Dallas in on October 25th. And my friend, she, my friend really wants to go, but it's on a Wednesday, I believe. I'm not sure if it's on Wednesday, but she said it's during the weekday, so, and she works, like, all day, so she, I hope she can go, like, if they said that this is the, gonna, gonna be their last tour, and when I asked why, they said it was because of the struggles they had on tour while the pandemic was happening, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the next song. Hello, um, now it's time to end um i really had fun today this is my first show so pretty nervous but if you're nervous that means you care so uh before i forget happy hispanic heritage month um stay safe and enjoy your day